Hello and welcome to this introduction to using Microsoft Access. Now Access belongs to Microsoft Office and it's used for creating databases. Databases are all around us. For example, if you work, your employer might keep your details on record. Another example of a database is in video games. They use databases to store what objects look like, their type, and so on. So databases really are all around us. What I'm going to do is show you an example database I've put together, a really simple one, but it will illustrate the different parts of a typical access database. So let's start with the fundamental, the key component of an access database and that is the table. Now the table is not something you sit at. The table in Access is used to store data. I have three tables in this database. Again it's a very simple one. Each table holds something different, different types of data which I'll go into detail more in, in a moment. But let's look at, at how a table is actually made up. Uh, if I open up the table, you can see we have rows and columns. Now, the columns are the fields ID, name and gender. So each field is a particular piece of data about someone. In this case, video game characters. Going down are the rows and each row is a record. So a red record is a collection of fields. So for example we have a record on Mario, a record on Luigi, a record on Peach and so on. Now you notice that each of these fields have a particular purpose. ID is an automatically generated value. Don't need to really worry about that much at the moment. Uh, but that's a number. Name is a text field where you can just type in what you want. But gender is a drop down. You can have female, male or unknown. Now by going behind the scenes so to speak you can see a bit more how this table is made up. So what Access allows you to do is have various views of the different components. So if I go into design view, see this drop down here, it's in data sheet view at the moment. We have design view here. We can see the actual fields themselves. So we have ID, character name and gender. Don't worry about the key, we'll come up to that in a different video. But you just see it's an auto number. Access automatically generates a unique number that we can use to identify the record. So I've used very programming name conventions for the field names. So char name is character name, gender is obvious. And they're both text fields. I'll show you another field how you do the drop downs, but the idea is just to understand what tables are used for to store data. So I if I wanted to I could type in here uh, a new record. Uh, so what about have we got Princess Peach? I don't think so. So if I type uh, sorry, Princess Daisy I meant to say. And I believe she's female. So I want, there we go. So I can type directly into the table if I want to, but it's not very user friendly. But we'll get back to that anyway. So let's just close that table. Uh, and I have other tables as well, but we can come back to that. Now, as you can see, yes, that's all very well. We use a table to store data, and we can sort them alphabetically and so on. But it'd be good if we had a much easier way to pull up certain type of data. For example, what if I wanted to find every video game character whose name begins with L? So you see you've got Luigi and Lara. What we can do is use what's called a query, and here it is. See that it's just pulled up the two characters whose names begin with L. Quer queries are very clever. They can do more than just pull up data. They can update tables, they can delete tables, and so many other things. But for this example, it's just displaying uh, information. Note here that we have an extra column called game name. It has linked, it has detected the link that Luigi belongs to the Super Mario Bros. series and Lara belongs to the Tomb Raider series. This is because I have another table, which I'll show you now, like so. 
listing various video game series or actually games I think I've done here yes <laughs> um, and then we have another table that sits in the middle and it links them together so Mario belongs he starred in Super Mario Bros. So is Luigi starred in Super Mario Bros. Mario is starred in, Super, starred in Super Mario 64. Peach is starred in Super Mario 64. But poor Luigi hasn't starred in Super Mario 64. So as you see there's a link up between the two. And I can show you in a bit more detail. We have what are called relationships. Which I'm sure most people are aware of. But in Access you can have relationships. So I've related the tables together so we say we've got this character is related to this game but you have to have this table that sits in the middle to link the two together the important thing to understand is this link up is just a number each character in each game has just a number and that's what's powerful we can just use a number rather than just keep repeating text every time the name or the game we can just use a number to look them up is that clever so in this query, which I'll just quickly show you in design view. So we've got the three tables which we just saw from the relationships. We stuck in some of the fields and we use this like L asterisk. That just means find every character name that begins with L. Don't care about everything afterwards, but it has to begin with L. Can't have a character before L, but L then any characters afterwards. So that's really clever what queries can do. Now, we talked about that tables weren't very user-friendly, so you can use what are known as forms. I'm sure you're familiar with forms like on online websites where you have to type in your details. Well, it's a similar concept here. This kind of form presents a much more user-friendly um, interface where you can enter and view data. Note that Mario Mario is highlighted in sign. Where, um, get back to that in a minute shall we say but we can navigate between uh, the different records and oh that's a different colour yes get back to that in a moment so that, that's just a ni nicer way of entering and viewing data if however you wanted to just view data but not let the user edit it then you can use what's called a report this report is based on that query, so it's pulling up all characters with name beginning with L, Lara, Tomb Raider, Luigi, Super Mario Bros. So that's a report, a read-only view of data. Um, yes, before I get to uh, what that form was doing, I'm just going to mention uh, macros. A macro is a command which is actually made up of a series of steps. For example, if I say make a cup of tea, that would be a command, but you know that there's a number of steps involved, which are boil water, put milk in the cups, and so on. So we can say execute this ma macro, but it actually knows it's a series of steps. This is a special type of macro because it's called auto exec. What this means is this macro will automatically get executed whenever you open the database. But you can also activate it now like so. So it displays this message and then it opens the main form. If we look at the macro in the sign view, like so, you can see there's two steps, display the message box and open our form. So that's what a macro is for. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about are modules. A module contains a VBA code. VBA is Visual Basic for Applications. It's a version of Visual Basic for Microsoft Office programs. It allows you to do more advanced stuff. So this module contains a procedure. A procedure is a a series of instructions in Visual Basic but don't need to really worry about uh, what that does but you might have noticed on this form that the colour changes for certain characters well it's actually based on gender so say Tails is male and he changed to female it now changes the colour to magenta as is a proper name uh, if he became unknown, he'd be Y. Put him back to male and his sign. So, 
all I've got is some codes which is contained in this module that gets called behind the scenes. So when you go into another record, it goes, ah, needs to be signed. And if you change it, it also changes the color too. And of course, I can also add new characters as well. So if I did Shadow the Hedgehog, like so, and I believe he's male, but if he's female, if it's unknown, and so on. So that's an introduction to Microsoft Access. Probably a lot to take in, um, but I just wanted to give you a bit of a taster for using Access. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please ask, and that's bye for now. Bye.